sector, though agricultural and conservation bodies together can work in cooperation for the good of the countryside as a whole. It's described as a, a major step forward, but it really is little progress. The government has been essentially beaten into this by conservation organisations who've actually been saying, come on, math, get your act together. Conservation is part of your business, and you really are not taking account of that. Friends of the Earth complain that the scheme is only voluntary and that farmers can still plough if they want to. But both sides agree that it is at least a beginning. Now the main news points again. The father of the Down syndrome baby Louise Brown has been jailed for five years for her manslaughter. Britons have been advised to leave Beirut after a second kidnapping. Brentford Football Club have called off tomorrow's match with Millwall because they can't segregate the opposing fans. And that's it for now. You can see Newsnight at half past ten on BBC Two, but from me, good night and have a good weekend. Hello, well, not really a good enough weekend for gardening, I don't think. I'm sorry to say, but Sunday may well brighten up just a little. The reason? Well, it's these very cold northerly winds with these small but very eager areas of low pressure coming along. This one in particular could give a fair amount of sleet and snow over the country during the next uh, 24 hours. That's where it's going to be by 6 p.m. tomorrow down there over Wales with clearer but still very cold air coming down across the country for Sunday. And that's the way the weather looks now. Showers are dying out over England and Wales, one or two persisting in the west there, but uh, some patches of mist some patches of fog too, perhaps, are uh, forming uh, inland there. And on any untreated roads, some patches of ice too. At the other end of the country, over Northern Ireland and Scotland, particularly North and West Scotland and later Northern Ireland, the showers, if anything, becoming uh, heavier and more frequent as the night goes on. Quite a widespread frost too tonight with a penetrating wind, minus two Celsius at just 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow, England and Wales starting off mainly dry and bright, just a few showers near those western coasts there. At the other end of the country, a little bit of brightness over eastern Scotland, but central and western Scotland, Northern Ireland, are dull with outbreaks of snow or sleet at times, some quite heavy snow too, especially above the high ground where there may well be some drifting as well. And that snow working its way down into northwest England and Wales during the morning, and then across many central and some eastern parts of England too during the course of the afternoon. Uh, uh, mainly rain, I think, in the southwest and sleet or snow over many other parts of the country too, settling in some places too. Uh, a disappointingly cold day again, fire Celsius at just 41 degrees Fahrenheit, still with that a rather brisk north to northwesterly wind. Now, a little bit better on Sunday, as I suggested. This ridge coming along, uh, fewer showers, rather more sunshine, ra rather less in the way of northerly winds. And that's the position we expect to see with then quite a bit of sunshine over central and western Britain. Still some wintry showers down eastern areas and temperatures just a shady higher, 7 Celsius at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Enjoy it anyway. That's it. Good night. On BBC Two shortly, the start of a new series of Around with Alice, whose guest this evening at the Formby Golf Club is entertainer Jasper Carrot. Saturday evening on BBC One, finds Doctor Who fighting for his life on the brink of the treacherous time lash. At five past six, Jim fixes it for Trudy to have a candlelit dinner, and Louise becomes a makeup demonstrator. At 6.40, the laughter show. You know, I've been thinking, Vera. Hey, well, you must be careful thinking. Ugh. Last time our Jack did that, he got earlier. In One by One at 7.15, Cuddles the Killer Whale needs an injection. Donald braves the pool and finds out just how cuddly he is. In Dynasty at 5 past 8, revenge is the name of the game, as Kirby at last confronts Alexis. At 8.50... Bergerac. What the hell do you want, Bergerac? I want you to come and see a body. At 10 o'clock, Robert Redford in Three Days of the Condor. You're in violation of secure communication procedures, Condor. I'm telling you, I came back with lunch and it was raining and the whole house was murdered. Everybody is dead. And that's the look of Saturday night on BBC One. Tonight's late film in 50 minutes on BBC One is Two Minute Warning, with Charlton Heston as a police chief trying to protect the crowds at a Los Angeles football stadium from a sniper with a high-powered rifle. That's after the first episode of a new drama serial with Peter Barkworth and Rowena Cooper in Late Starter. Mm -hmm.